Her <gasps> boobs did a boop. Hello, internet. So, if like oh, about a year ago, a little less, but I bought, I found a really weird game and decided to buy it, and that was Sinren Kangura, whatever the fuck it's called, Peach Beach Black, Peach Beach Black, which is an anime, I guess, but it featured some big ass anime titties. And some not so big ass anime titties. And I thought it was a weird game, and I wanted it in my collection. But then today I was at GameStop, and I saw that another. Sinran Kangura game was on clearance, and I got Sinran Kangura Burst Renewal Tailor Made Edition, and I'm going to play it because this is an anime franchise that I've never fucking heard of until Peach Beach Splash, and I I just need there's another one for PS4 that I need in my collection because the look lights, at this. man. Look, but um, because this this is what what person what PS4 fan doesn't have these in their collection? But um. Uh, an interesting side note after the initial video of doing the tutorial and such it actually is a pretty fun game yeah Peach Beach Splash is not a bad game it would be taken seriously if it wasn't all anime titties well yeah if it was like I feel that way about a lot of like anime based games like if it you know the action oh, oh yeah Ultima Shadows Burst oh, we got options Ice, Ice Queen, Queen. Like it's just, oh. just three campaigns. I think one of them oh, is. Oh, so it. Okay. DLC. I'll just do uh, Ultimate Shadows. Yes, yeah, so this is. I think this was one of the DLC that I got for being the Taylor made. So I feel like there's maybe three main types of like anime games. So there's this one that's like you know catered to thirsty men. Very fan service is what they Very call fan it. service. Uh, fighting games. Like Dragon Ball Z is known for it. Naruto. Yeah. Or like dating simulator type games or like slice of life type games, I guess. Yeah. Oh. See, we already got a booty. And she's got, oh, those are some big ass honkers. I feel like we should recognize these girls because they're probably <laughs> yeah. the same, but I'm like, I don't know. Last yes. time I saw you, you just were wearing a bikini. They look nuts. This looks like the most weird <laughs> band I've ever seen in my <laughs> life, and I want to listen to their music. I will not die. I cannot die. Not until I master I'm the path of the shinobi. So whenever I play these really weeb games featuring a lot of boobies, I make sure to have her with me because it makes it not sexist. <laughs> my cheeks are so fucking red right now. Look. Not really. You, look. Hey, I guess. I feel like it's pretty fucking red. Okay, so I do a, a slice and dice. Sweet. So square does a so, slice. Triangle does a bigger slice. Eat this. Jump does a jump. What? What, is, what does circle do? Circle is a... Is a like a dash? I think, or, oh. Okay, it's an, an air dash. Oh, okay, it's sprint. Okay. Okay. So this seems like a play. Are, so yeah. this seems like it plays like most action games. And again, this could be a really fun. Like so far, you know, I played three seconds of it. It seems like it's a fun action game, but it just features a bunch of anime titties. Well, so nobody's gonna take it seriously. Yeah, and I'm sure, of course, the original story has some sort of plot, and you know, yeah, like, it, it follows is, the storyline. Yeah, like this is based off an anime, just one I've never heard of until I saw Peach yeah, Peach no. Flash in the PSN store, and I was like, what the fuck is this? I need it. And I looked yeah. it up on Amazon and saw the the. No shirt, whatever, all service edition, whatever it was called. And it was like a collector's edition. It comes with all this extra shit, and it was like 30 bucks. I'm like, all right, yeah. cool. Um, because what you were looking at, like Galgun or something, and it was like kind of, yeah, I, th I forget yeah. exactly how I found I it. It might have been games on sale at the time. I don't remember I, I exactly don't how I found it, but I found it, and I'm glad I did. Because we were thinking of playing like Galgun or something, kind yeah. of in that. And then, then we did another video in Peach Beach Pie for the VR mode, which is very disappointing, but it's still the most yeah. new video on this channel. So apparently this game was originally a two, uh, not a 2DS, well, I guess technically, but it was a 3DS game. And uh, they remade it into Why a, she got bubbles going on her I don't know. They remade it to um, stylize the other, there's another Cinder and Kangora game, or I think it's a series, I think there's a few of them. But it's more like an action game like you just saw. I guess this one really like was, it was more like a it was a 2D action game like a beat 'em up or something. I'm no, I have no idea. I've never played it obviously, but it was a 3DS game. And she's got some huge ass titties. The, how's that tie work? You see that? It's or not allowed to touch the boobs. It hasn't earned that privilege yet. <laughs> um, mission dressing room. Oh wait, wait there was a booty. God damn it, babe. Come on, show it. Show it. This is like the show weirdest. It. Like a library, shop. It's a bunny. School select. Is that the record. dude that had like the sunglasses and the shorts in the other game that we played? Uh, maybe, maybe it's based off the same kind of thing. I heard, uh, we'd have to watch the anime to really know. No, but it, it looks. I, uh, her shirt's unbuttoned. Uh, there's she even show her booty just roll, turns around. Well. All right, let's go to mission. Chap. 
you got candy. I got Kit Kat. It's Valentine's Day. Yeah, it, it, does it make it worse that I bought this game on Valentine's Day? You asked me. You're like, Ray, well, I want this. And I was like... Gee. Combat practice. Oh, yeah. Start this mission? Yes. I guess. She's got titties and a sword. I saw her panties. Huh? Oh, no. See, this is another game, like, I feel like on the TV in our bedroom would look way better. Because yeah. I'm like, what is the words? Because, you know, we're using, like, a, a really old... Yeah, it's like a 12-inch 720p So TV, it's like but... a basic, like, computer monitor at this point. It's smaller, it's smaller than my actual computer monitor. Yeah. I would use so it's hard monitor, to read, yeah. like, instructions and stuff on. I'm yeah. sure we've said this before, yeah. but it's I, like... I would use the actual computer monitor, but it has no speakers, hmm. so we couldn't hear it. And I don't... I do have a... A, um... Optical cable, but I don't have anything that I can plug it into and listen to audio with, so... So this... A, a lot like Peach Peach Splash, seems like it can be an actual pretty fun game. Yeah, but, but it's just full of anime titties, so nobody's gonna take it seriously. No, but even you know, like with the Peach Bee Splash, you know, you like shoot them with like the the thing in like the face or the chest or the, oh, yeah. the, the panties and whatever. But I'm sure, uh, you know, that part's because you know, of course, a lot of people that are gonna buy it are men or yeah. teenage boys that you know just want to like, see some anime. Titties. Like this series, obviously knows their audience. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that's also a key to, like, if you know your audience, you can succeed more. Like, you know, you want there to be a story, but you know if you put in, like, High School of the Dead. Have you ever, like, do you even know about that? Nope. I feel like you might have told me about it once before. Yeah. Um, but, so it is, like, a, a well, bunch of- going on a transform. Her <gasps> boobs did a- whoop. Magical girl transformation. Oh, she's naked. Oh, Sweet. Oh, they so showed Booties. her booty. Oh. They, Did, okay, the, that animation was very unnecessary and very perverted for the full see, reason. That's what I mean. They know what being, they're doing. Yeah, exactly. Like, the developers and the people who make this anime, they know what they're doing. They know what their audience is. And there's nothing wrong with that, necessarily. Yeah. But, like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm buying these games because they're silly and look ridiculous. And, I, you know, people come over and like, what the fuck is this? Well, not even just that. Like, but it's a... Once you actually get into it, it's like a good time waster kind yeah, of like thing. Yeah, like Peach, like I play that game sometimes casually. Like it was the first game I actually played in 2020. I was playing it on New Year's <laughs> Eve because I was bored. Um, but like, it's a fun game. Like it has fun mechanics and stuff like that. And this game seems like you know it's like a hack and slash type. Like it reminds, kind of reminds me of Dynasty Warriors a bit how it's played so far. And it's fun so far. I haven't, I've only played a few minutes of it, but it seems very. Basic, yes, but fun and keep you entertained for but a while. But sometimes that's but a it's good also break very, from like games that are yeah. very like. Yeah, it's it's a good palate cleanser. Yeah. So like, if you just play like a story heavy game like God of War, you can play this and be a good palate cleanser because you don't really need to pay attention. Yeah. I mean, there could be a really deep story here, but I doubt it, <laughs> and I'm not paying attention to it. I mean, I feel like if there was a big storyline, we would have like, especially with the last game, like you know, the the storyline that we knew within a couple minutes was like oh they're competing to be shinobi or something special and yeah. the whatever team or Do your girl like that? sometimes mission accomplished um and i did a level up that, oh i got an a rank cool i got this, oh i got a trophy Hey, Grace. <laughs> so this being a like collector's edition, it came with a soundtrack, and you can see Why that... Why are you sniffing so much? My nose is clogged a little bit. It came with a soundtrack, and the art is very uh, suggestive. Oh, and like Can't escape the lights in this room. And then like the even the discs, they have like the boobles. They got like scrolls or something in their boobies, and I don't know why. Probably for the appeal of it. I mean, why not? Soundtrack. I love how they're just casually pointing to this crab, though. Like, oh no! Not the crab. Retrieve the scroll. Oh, so I guess, like, I some put, of the missions are like... Am I gonna put it in my boobies? Where else would you put it? My butt. <laughs> Trying not to be so blunt about it, but sure. See, so yeah, it seems like a very, like, a Dynasty Warriors kind of, like, just very 
basic hack and slash, not too deep. You just kind of ho- slash through hordes of enemies. But it can be challenging a little bit if you, you know. Well, I'm sure, like, if you're, you know, kind of like you, where it, it's like you do want platinums, but you have to go through and see what each thing requires. So it's like, yeah. oh, I, looked, I gotta do this without. I looked a little bit, and, like, at least the people say the difficulty. Oh, they, they were, they're naked now. Uh, they're not naked. They're in their oh. underwear. Okay. I thought and you meant, like, actually naked. I'm like, what? Yeah. There, uh, the, I looked a little bit the trophy. Oh, you can just see her panties when she runs, unless okay. you angle the camera like this, which is well, not I really mean, practical. Well, I mean, her magical girl transformation was just like her un- her panties and then her skirt and then her bra or bikini top. I don't know what it was. I don't know. And then a shirt showing up. It's like, was that necessary? Or yeah, like that, that animation. I'm like, yeah, it was a little too much. It didn't really need to be, need to be like that. But like, I get it. Like, they know what they're yeah, again. They, know, they to. know what their target audience is. Well, yeah. But like I was saying, it was like High School of the Dead. Like you know, it is technically like a zombie gore kind of story, but they do spice it up. Like there's a whole episode where they find a house and all the girls are taking a shower, so they're all like covered uh-huh. in bubbles and whatever. And all like there's like two or three dudes, like main dudes in the story. So of course there's like five girls and they're all like, oh my god, I want all the girls. I'm like, mm. you're in the zombie apocalypse. Now is not the time to make babies by accident. So I'll do one more mission and then we'll call it quits. Okay. I mean, like, this seems like a lot of the stuff is the other one. Like, you know, you go it's, around, you it's do fair, a couple yeah, of missions. You do missions. And stuff. This one is a little. It's oh, like, we were talking about the trophies. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I, looked up the tro- I looked up the trophy list. I did, oh, the trophy Get guide. rid of the school delinquents. Um, I looked up the trophy guide. And it said the difficulty is, like, not too bad. Oh, I got a long sword now. I'll play as a different lady. Cool. Uh-oh. I do like when there's different characters that have, like, different weapons and panties. stuff. You can see all their paintings. Well, yeah. Um, but yeah, apparently Peach Beach Blash isn't all, it also isn't difficult. I haven't got it yet because mm. a lot. Some of it's very time consuming. Well, and you're like, oh, I would much rather play this game yeah. right now. I feel like I, I could try to get eventually. Like I'm still trying. There's like a few that I'm still like working because a lot of them are pretty grindy, mm. and some because yeah. some of you need to like um, you need to do certain things in human. Player, not human like online but like actual characters in the game like when you because there's like you know just regular just kill fodder in that game and then there's actual like other characters they can fight against mm-hmm. and you need to do a certain amount of things a certain amount of them and whatever but there's a few other things that Michelle just like slowly work my way through and uh I want to try to get it eventually like, apparently it's like the the rarity because if you look in PS4 you can see the rarity of trophies yeah. apparently it's only like very rare which means a lot of people have it or a lot of people play the game have it anyway so Clearly, the people who play that game really played that game. Um, yeah, but I, I, what was it that you were doing? Like you started playing Uncharted. Oh, I was playing and- Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection. Then I bought uh, Slime Rancher. Oh yeah, yeah. And I, I'm still you, like, I'm still. I, I'm, you were like, oh, I yeah. still want to finish. Yeah, I still want to finish Uncharted too, but I, I never did. Yeah, well, Slime back. Rancher is oddly addicting, though. Yeah. Um. That's. I was my gonna say something. Most recent and. Uh, first platinum of 2020. Yeah. Slime Rancher. Oh, I was gonna say, what would you do if you like had like a schoolyard fight and every time you like punch them, they lost a piece of clothing? Like, how concerned would you be? You're like, dude, keep your pants. It would be awesome. Really? Would you actually hit girls if that? <laughs> I'm <just> kidding. <laughs> Can we play like a, a strip battleship like they did in Toy Story? No. <laughs> I watched because I got Disney Plus recently, so I was watching. Oh. I can do a special like that. I didn't know that. Um, I was watch- so I watched Toy Story, or I think it was actually in Toy Story two when this happened. But like I think it was uh, Mr. Potato Head and, and uh, oh, with and- all the Barbies, right? No, it no? was just they're still in Andy's room. They're playing Battleship, but every time um, he like sunk a, ba- a ship or whatever, he would like give him a piece of like Potato Head would give him like his ear or whatever. That's so weird. Yeah, so they're pretty much playing strip Battleship, except those with Potato Head parts. Like what I think because the believe he's playing with Hammy the piggy bank, so I'm yeah. like, what the hell is? He, what is he gonna give you? His change? Probably. <laughs> I mean, I'm low in health apparently. Fuck. Um. It just ends now is what the subtitle just said. Yeah. You ever just do like a high kick and you're like, here's my panties. Yep. All the time. Okay. <laughs> Good time. My favorite thing is to throw people in my panties. Yeah. Yeah. Pervert. <laughs> yep. Oh no! Did I do a die? How mortifying. Her boobs jiggled. Yeah, well, I mean, 
if you're a woman that has... Mission failed, oh no! Well, anyway, so this is Sinren Kangura, or however you pronounce it, uh, Burst Renewal on PS4. Again, like Peach Beach Splash, it seems like it's a legitimately fun game. It's just full of anime titties. Yeah, and there's not really anything wrong with that. Like, sure, yeah. your mom's going to be mad if she sees the box, but... Yeah, you shouldn't, if, you shouldn't let your game... It might be colorful, cartoony looking, but you shouldn't You shouldn't be playing this if you're a little kiddo. Well, yeah, but also... It is rated M for a reason. Those shoot them up. Are Shit. And those reasons are partial nudity, sexual themes, strong language. I want to hear him say fuck. I haven't heard any, in either of these games, I haven't heard any too strong language. Look at how high it went when I said, I want to hear him say fuck. It was like, I've, <gasps> I've, I've definitely, there's definitely some partial nudity in this game. Well, yeah. Sexual themes, uh, maybe well, a little may, bit. May, no, I think it's pretty tame. Violence. Yeah. I mean, you're just hacking people up with swords and anyway, stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and go check out the other Senren Kangora, two, uh, two other Senren Kangora videos, or I pronounce it, that's both being Petri Splash, one is the regular game, one is the VR mode, which is kind of boring, you don't really do much, you just kind of look oh, at But it, if you're interested, like if you... You're, if you're a big pervert, you can watch, look at girls in VR, but you can't really do much. Well, I mean, no, you can, but ju- I mean, you can if, jerk it if you want to. If you're one of those people that's contemplating, like, is it worth it? Go watch it. Judge for yourself. I'm pretty sure it's not worth it. You, but you can jerk it. Bye. As soon as they start, they're gonna see your face in the video. D- I mean, the actual game in the actual I, game. You don't I have was to making jerk a joke. To the God video. damn. God damn. And if they're gonna be jerking it, 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 it would be to you. <laughs>